Hello, my fellow absolutism addicts. It is me, Jero, currently speaking to you from my liquid form because it is 30 degrees Celsius in my room. Please subscribe. I need to buy air conditioning. First off, I want to thank everyone who watched the Children of the Republic video that I posted last Sunday. The response was far above what I could ever have expected or asked for, and it was received very positively. I wasn't sure if it was going to be any good, since it's one of the first videos that I've ever recorded all by myself. So, seeing the positive feedback is a massive motivation booster for me, and I'd like to thank each and every one of you for that, genuinely. Thank you. Now, I'm making these videos in the hope that I can entertain a few of you, so seeing it actually work makes me very happy. Now, with that being said, it's time to move on to the game. Today, though, we're going down a very different route. I asked my good man Lord Eric what country I should play next. Leave suggestions in the comments, by the way. And he said play Norway, because it's the number one country. No, I'm not too sure about that one, but you know, I'll entertain the idea, sure. So anyway, I figured I'd dabble in a bit of monarchism uh, and create a, a based Norway by telling the constitutional monarchy to fuck off and then creating an absolute monarchy, because we are absolute chads, not just constitutional chads. Hopefully I can get this playthrough off without offending any Norwegians that may be watching, because I can and will butcher some of these names. You have been warned. So the people won't notice this, but this is actually the third time I've started up the game because the first time I had no sound and the, the second time um, I turned historical focuses on. And as you know, I'm based and I don't give a shit about historical focuses, so I always turn them off because I want to see a funny world. That's my sole reasoning for turning that shit off every single time. Okay, now you may be thinking going for the monarchist route means I first have to go for, you know, the monarchist traditions rekindling, right? Uh, think again, kiddo. That's right, I'm not going anywhere near this line yet, because the very first thing that I do in this game is encourage fishing. That's right, the greatest minigame of all time, the fishing minigame. It may not be directly worked into Hearts of Iron 4, but at least we can encourage it. Holy shit, based France? Monarchy support in France? No fucking way. Oh god, Britain's doing a change in course as well. Oh no. I wonder what kind of world I'm gonna see at the end of this. Whatever the case, it, it's bound to be very, very cursed. Holy shit, I get increased political power for a year? My god, this is OP. This is gonna increase the monthly population. Royal wedding. Alphonse the first claims the throne of France? What the fuck? Holy shit. France decided to become based and put Alphonse the first in charge. Meanwhile, um Yeah. I I, I I really hope I really hope they're gonna do King's Party. It would be hilarious. Germany did remilitarize the Rhineland, so they're definitely staying fascist, but imagine if we had monarchist UK, monarchist France, and monarchist Norway. Oh my god, it happened. Oh my god, it happened. Oh my god, it happened. Oh my god, I imagine? Imagine. Okay, but if. I'm just saying. Romania has been stuck in a civil war for the past two years already, and I didn't feel nothing has really happened here. I believe the um, front line may have maybe shifted a few tiles towards the north, but yeah, this is a. Uh, it's not going too fast for them, unfortunately. Okay, so after finally turning authoritarian after what seemed like an eternity, um, it is finally time to continue down the monarchist line after, of course, first finishing up rebuilding our army because um, it is 1938 and this mod runs until 1956. So it might take a while. You may remember me saying, oh, the UK did the King's Party. Um, well, yeah, they sure did. And um, they're now in the Axis faction. Because, of course, it's Edward with the, um, fascist tendencies. Yay. Looks like it's gonna be me and France against most of the Axis together. But, you know, um, we'll make do with what we have. I'm sure. Okay, so it's 1939, World War II just popped off. Because Czechoslovakia decided not to give up the Sudetenland. And they're in a faction with the Kingdom of Italy. Um, and France. Uh... Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions by turning the historical AI focus off. Oh boy. And it looks like France instantly pushed through. 
the West Wall as well. And the Polish joined the Latin Union. Oh my god. Oh, Germany's getting fucked. Germany is absolutely getting fucked. Let's see if Germany can survive this. I'm, I'm kind of wondering. Oh, would you look at that. The United States of America pursues interventionist policies. The giant will not be sleeping this time. FDR decided he had enough. Oh, also, the Japanese shogunate is once again back. Bro, no way fucking Italy's winning in Africa. What the fuck? Okay, to be fair, France is also there. Um, Italy is winning in Africa. I, I, I can't believe it. I, I actually cannot believe it. Old traditions rekindled. The old traditions of the Kingdom of Norway has recently seen a romantic revival with people in politics now questioning whether old traditions of says aristocratic titles should be brought back the way of our democratic traditions. Most agree the titles should come without the privileges this time. Um, no. We must respect our traditions. We shall have aristocracy and our glorious old flag. That's right. We're based. We just turned based. True traditional monarchy, baby. That's right. I don't care about any of this. Constitutional monarchy? Fuck that shit. More power to the king? No. Prime Minister should answer to the king? Uh, no. Traditional monarchy, baby. I said we're going based. We're going ultra based. Oh man, France is being naval invaded by the Brits now. Oh, this is just fantastic. Um, yeah, it's not looking too good for um, the uh, Latin Union. Um, Czechoslovakia is getting eaten. Well, Slovakia is, is well, it, it's already been eaten. Uh, Poland is um, fractured. Romania is still in a civil war three years later. Um, oh, Portugal is just completely fascist and in the axis as well. And France, yeah, then we know about France. At least Ireland's still alive, I guess, but they're still like, turning fascist as well. Okay, we've just gone fully based. We have now brought back all of the old city names as well. Um, yeah, this is a... Uh... We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good, not gonna lie. This is the, the most based monarchy right now in Europe. Um, you know, true Edward is cringe, alright? Alphonse the first. That, that guy's pretty cringe as well. Um, Kingdom of Italy, is this even a kingdom? And then there's there's Mr. Mr. Hilter, so yeah, he's, he's the ultra cringe guy, to be honest. Ah, Rome foster German troops. The war has taken an unexpected turn. I mean, the fact that this is a war at all is quite unexpected in, in and of itself. Okay, so my dumbass realized I could send volunteers, so I sent some volunteers over to Italy to see what the fuck they're up to. Um, I hope I can help them in, in some shape or form, and I hope I don't spawn on the southern end of the map, because this might th that might be the end for me. Okay, I have no clue how, but I somehow managed to save Italy. Um, yeah, they also did some of that work themselves, of course, but uh, it's still not looking too good for them. But uh, the war is definitely draining Germany since not a lot of their troops seem to be fully equipped. So, yeah, whatever's happening, um, it's not good for Germany. Holy shit, French expansionism going ham. Did they actually. Oh my god, what is this? What is this cursed. They've lost Slovakia, but but they, they've gained parts of Germany. Oh my god, what is this? is cursed, man. The AI is like absolutely desecrating each other with using like cavalry and motorized. Look at this shit! There's German forces encircled. They don't have anything on the border with France. France is just free to move in. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll, I'll update you guys if any if any major changes happen. But for now, um, I, I I don't know what happened to Germany, man. They they just kind of seem to have lost it. I don't, I don't know where all the troops are. Do they even have troops remaining? Yeah, they still have like they, they have less than a hundred men, probably. Holy shit! Yeah, this it's not looking good for Germany. It's not looking good at all. Oh man, that's a very bad bad world to live in. And meanwhile, Africa's completely been destroyed by the Italians. But anyway, yeah, I'll update you guys if anything else, anything major happens. Okay, uh, yeah, as you can see, um, Germany is straight up on having a good time. They don't have enough... Oh, they have Volkssturm units, man. They don't have enough troops to garrison their entire border, so, um, they, they're kind of just dying. I don't know what happened, man. Like, they almost took Poland. I, I thought they were gonna do, like, really well, but, uh, like, now it's just... It's, it's gone absolutely down the drain for them. 
Uh, I do have a war goal on uh, Denmark, but I figured I'd first go for Sweden before I did that, so yeah. Okay, so after a um, war that took a bit longer than I expected, because Sweden had more men than... Uh, well, not more men than me, um, but they had a lot of men in general, and uh, I had my defensive divisions pumped out a lot. Uh, I lost a few cavalry units, but eventually I managed to... Um, I managed to eventually cavalry cheese them by taking all of their victory points using cavalry units, just sending one to, on, on a tour to Stockholm, essentially. Um, and eventually... They capitulated. Uh, not without a few necessary losses, though, because I only have 21 divisions left. I don't have any more manpower, so this is a bit of a problem, but, uh, yeah. Denmark is next. Also, um, Germany is no more. You may have noticed that already, but, um, they've been reduced to Vienna. And, um, that... Nor... Schleswig holstein I guess. Yeah. Meanwhile, Britain's trying another naval invasion, and it's not working out for them. It seems in a weird twist of history that the roles have been reversed for the UK. They are now the aggressor fighting against the entirety of Europe, but, you know, allied with Germany. Um, holy shit, I didn't know this was an event, but, um, the recent bombings of London have now resulted in the deaths of King Edward and his wife Wallace. What the fuck? It's King George the Sixth. I'm... I'm so confused. I did not know that was a thing that could happen in, in Heart to 50... Uh, Heart to 56? Road to 56. But, um, yeah, George VI is is the head of the fucking United Kingdom now. Holy shit. That's insane. I did, I, I did not know that. Anyway, I'm conquering Denmark. Uh, I did a quick naval invasion and, um, yeah. It's been going pretty well, as you can see. And there we go, I have restored the Kalmar Union, and it's now the unification of Scandinavia. A glorious day for all Scandinavians. That's right. Look at that beauty, look at that beauty. Meanwhile, Canada has sent me an invitation to the Commonwealth of Nations. Um, uh, do I want to? Nah, they're filthy, demo they're filthy Democrats. Like, uh, really? I'm not gonna do that, man. I'm not gonna join America. I'm a kingdom. I'm a, I'm a based monarchist. I don't join their cringe faction. You think I am? Democratic? A constitutional monarchy? Think again, kiddo. Um, also, the Soviet Union is at war um, with Europe. So, yeah. That's also going on right now. Not the Germans. No, 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 no. Um, the European Union, so to speak. Uh, guys, I missed it for a split second, but the uh, Japanese shogunate is in the Axis. I can't believe we finally have a world where Japan has joined the Axis instead of creating the um, Eastern Prosperity Sphere thingy. Oh no, guys, it's the fall of Dublin. Oh no, the British naval invaded them. The Empire rises anew. Oh dear. Seems they've also got themselves encircled in France once again. Okay, we have uh, seemingly finally arrived at the um, final treaty. Um, I do have... I gotta say... Yeah, I, I didn't really do anything in South America, but I do have PLPC on, so, um, yeah. Okay, and with that peace deal behind the back, um, yeah, I have, uh, mm, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> and I have a few puppets over here <laughs> that I don't really deserve, but, uh, I got them nonetheless, because player-led peace conferences, that's why. And there we go, after a quick naval invasion of Iceland. Well, I say quick, but, um, I mean, the Route to 56 is quite a slow mod, so it took a while. But, um, at last, we're finally back to, um, <laughs> being whole again. Um, so I've taken Iceland, I've taken the Faroe Islands, and, uh, you know who's next. Alright, so since America decided to cuck me out of the rest of my focus tree by, um, taking Greenland, I used a, um, strongly worded letter that I wrote in my, um, console to make America give me Greenland again. So yeah, now I am no longer cucked out of the rest of my focus tree and we can actually get Finland next. All right, so while I was busy um, getting some PP by reintegrating every single part of my country, um, King George VI died due to um, the king's heavy smoking habits. Uh, I, I have... Elizabeth is... yeah. Um, holy shit. Can you believe it? She truly is immortal. 
You may also have noticed a different thing that um, the kingdom has been renamed to the Kingdom of Norway and we are back to the original flag. Reunifying gave me a bunch of PP, so uh, I decided to use it on that. Alright, so I just completed Subjugate Finland. Uh, I'm gonna pray that they don't join a uh, random faction and actually, uh, you know, go down without too much of a fight. Um, they do have a sizable army, but it's not too big, so I'm not too worried or anything. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I uh, subjugated Finland. So I've been at war for a bit now, and um, the Netherlands just created the Benelux. <laughs> not sure how they did that, but um, they created it. And um, g guess who else is here? Uh, yeah, that's right. It's Cuba. The fa fascist Cuba is in the uh, Benelux. Because, of course. Man, I do not like this border gore, man. Like, look at this France border. Oh, they're being naval invaded again. By the queen herself. Uh, how many units do they have? They, they still haven't really brought up their military. I'm so surprised by that. Uh, Mussolini is still here. He's vibing, you know, in, in the Latin Union. He, he fought against uh, Hitler. <laughs> gained a piece of Germany for it. Um, the Eastern Front it, it still hasn't moved. Romania is stuck with a um, default focus tree, which is honestly fucking hilarious. And I'm currently at war with uh, Turkey and the entire Balkan Entente, because for some reason Finland decided to join their faction when I declared war on them. So that's why I'm at war with them, if you're wondering. Uh, but my naval invasion order is halfway done, so should be the end of it soon. So something weird just happened. The uh, Mexican Soviet Republic just naval invaded the same place that I was gonna naval invade. Um, which I'm not really a fan of, so uh, I'm gonna pull up my typewriter and send another strongly worded letter to uh, Mr. Hernan Laborde over here. I probably butchered the name, I'm very sorry. Oh no, guys. It's the Bob Sample thing. It's over. New Zealand is aiming for world domination and I am powerless to stop them. It's already over, man. I've already lost. I'm sorry, guys. This is the end of the video. Right, it is currently end of 1943. Uh, the game has slowed down to an incredibly slow pace. Um, the UK keeps naval invading France. They've finally done a successful one because they have actually been producing a shit ton of units while France is still stuck in, I don't know, the pre-World War II era. They've just been losing more divisions. Um, so they definitely appear to be on the losing side in this war. Um, I'm going to finish it off here. There's not a lot of movement. They're taking back um, Africa somehow. Because, of course, Italy first winning in Africa, now losing in Africa. Who, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Out of all the things in this game, this is pretty historically accurate. Italy is beginning to lose in Africa again. Anyway, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Um, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.